Should I get travel insurance? There are many good reasons for travelers to consider purchasing travel insurance when planning a trip, as we've all frustratingly experienced baggage can easily get lost in medical costs abroad especially out with the EU can be excessive to non-natives. But how do you make sure you're not paying too much for your policy? By carefully considering your holiday cover needs you'll be better placed to find a policy for you that doesn't over-insure you and your family. It's best to make sure that any travel insurance you take out covers two basic areas, luggage and healthcare. Becoming ill on holiday is more common than you'd think. Two-fifths of all UK holidaymakers get sick for two or more days of their holiday on average. Among the main culprits are food poisoning, sunstroke and dehydration so health cover is another must. The level of your medical cover can vary depending on where you're traveling to. Within the EU you'll need a European health insurance card which entitles you to free medical country in any EU country, so you see there are some upsides to this European Union after all. The added cost of flying you home for treatment is an extra consideration to take if you're holidaying in a country with a poor healthcare system or indeed anywhere out with the European Union. Repatriation evacuation insurance basically means that you're covered for the cost of being flown back to the UK for medical treatment at home rather than risk further illness by being treated in your destination country. We've had a look at the average recommended levels of travel insurance cover and have summarized them for you below. Cash 250 pounds. This is another level of insurance cover that is freely adjustable depending on your individual penchant for carrying cash. It can be well worth getting insurance for lost or stolen cash as pickpockets do target tourists especially and being stranded with no cash is no fun. If you're a big spender you can obviously opt for a higher amount of cover but if you're planning on carrying large sums you should probably consider carrying traveler's checks instead as these can be replaced by your provider. Healthcare expenses 2 million pounds. This sounds like a lot but if you become ill particularly out with the EU you want as much cover as is possible as medical bills can be sky high. However do look out for over the top medical cover, amounts such as 30 million pounds are excessive and 2 million pounds stands as the recommended top amount. As mentioned previously you may be traveling within the EU so your EHIC may cover you therefore you could opt for less cover than this. Luggage problems 1500 pounds. This can cover a mixture of damage delay loss or all three. The amount of cover required will obviously depend on the value of goods you expect to be carrying as well as the cost of replacing your luggage and contents.